Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. Our little, uh, I, I guess in the like, sun. like a five minute vacation in Costa de Sol is already over. Oh, we're but, out of Golden Key? Uh, we're out, we're of, we're out, out, of, we're out of the Golden Quiche, yes. And now <laughs> we're having, uh, bruh, is that an acorn? <laughs> no, it's not it's an, an egg. egg. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> <laughs> no, these are these, these dolls. I, I forgot the name of them. Mario Koshas, I call it. They're, they're, they're off the Russian Mario Koch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're obviously uh, referenced from. You get one, and then it pops out a smaller one, and then it pops out three smaller ones. Yeah, if you do enough damage to the middle one without actually killing it, they will pop into three miniature ones, too. Or you can just kill the source, and they just all go... I mean, it's not a bad idea. To, it's not a bad. It's not a bad idea to place to a uh, limit grind if you want to, but there are better sources. I mean, like, isn't that how it always works? Though you kill the source, you're good. Uh, not always. If the if the copies themselves are sentient enough to live on their own accord, then no, it, killing the source wouldn't do anything. Right. It's like a plague. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, exactly. So, what are we switching around today? Uh, more like it's. Uh, I, I'm just doing another check to see if anything's there because now that I, I now that double material growth weapons are a thing, I want to prioritize leveling up like the basic elements: fire, ice, lightning, mm -hmm. and uh, just so I can start getting tier two stuff. Because at this point in time, I think you should start having those kind of spells if you're not focusing on enemy skills specifically. I love this background drop, by the way. I oh, yeah, it more. is. It's pretty rare, too, because you're only in this you're area only, for a bit. You find this here, you find it in Corral Mountain. In, in the mountain as well. Which, okay. I, which I fucking love. I mean, the green, the, the, the near sunrise coming up out of this, the mountainside yeah. scenery gets gorgeous. There's a few backgrounds in this game that are, like, like really gorgeous, but they're so minute because you're only on that screen for, like, maybe a second at most. You know, uh, there's a jumping a, a bit ahead here. Uh, there's a sequence where you're going when you're, where you're near the uh, the Corel reactor, and there's this there's this mountainside on the right bottom right of it that you can go there for so whatever reason, and you can fight encounters there, and it has its own background. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah. Unless I unless I, I show I it did. off. I show it off All later. Right. Uh, but it's like again, it's like you have no reason to really be here, but there's its own background on it here, and it's so bizarre. Anyway, it's a new summon, but it's Ifrit. Yeah, just one fiery taco. Yeah, one fire. I thought you said I heard taco. taco. Yeah, yeah, I did too. Maybe no, it's because I'm a little hungry. It's a taco yeah. with a lot of Diablo sauce. Yeah, a well, like, shit of Diablo sauce. It looks the same coming out the other end too. Then it does. It comes yeah. out. Well, actually, no, I never had that issue with my ass. With Taco Bell? <laughs> yeah, I never had. I never had the screaming chips with Taco Bell. Honestly, same. Like, <laughs> like I shit afterwards, but like it's not screaming shits. One for the quote pages, I guess. I never right. had that problem with my ass. <laughs> and again, love this track. Oh, this one? Yeah. You have Barrett here for this? Hey. If you have Barrett for this, he'll actually take a moment to breathe in the air. I just passed a guy in a black cape there. Oh, oh boy. Sephiroth, so, uh, do you know anybody else <laughs> that has a black cape? <laughs> yeah, what if you're chasing another guy named Bill? <laughs> Who the fuck else do you think has a black cape in this? Dracula? <laughs> oh, I was thinking Zoro. Vincent? <laughs> <laughs> no, Vincent's Vince burgundy. I thought it was just straight up red. No, I, I always got burgundy. I thought there. it was like I thought it was like a darker red, but not straight up yeah, burgundy. Yeah, burgundy. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that burgundy? It's burgundy, except not. You like my cape? His name is Ron. <laughs> you can steal the you can steal a new pin for a red thirteen from the uh, dragon in the back there. I think it's actually weak. I think it's it's weak not as good as the, yeah. It's not as good as the magic comb. The birds there do a thunderous attack. The mushroom things do a four laser attack, which can hurt, but they're, they both have low HP and are no threat. <laughs> also, the dragon, uh, I think, is either weak to or is it's immune to, to ice. Sweet to ice. It's immune to fire. All right. Uh, as we just seen. So, we, as we were talking about earlier about uh, grinding limits in Junin Forest, uh, the coral area is actually also really good. You can find uh, mushrooms that give you six. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of big groups of enemies in this area. These are in, like, groups of three, four, or five at max. Is this sector uh, two? This is random Mako reactor. Another here. Midgar. Yeah. Is, it, is this sector two? No, this is no. Sector Coral. <laughs> this is the Coral Reactor. Yeah. See the way you oh, say. Oh, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. See the way you say it makes it sound uncoral. No, no, it's definitely. Well, it is. You know, people died because of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay, capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I did see the number twenty-seven on it, Elliot. Yeah, so, I did. Uh, what it's a uh, Mako Reactor twenty-seven. So, like, how many Mako reactors are we talking here? Well, this is 27. I don't know if the Nibelheim one has a number. I wonder if the numbers are just a signed thing, like uh, Unit 42 or something like that. You know, just giving it a number. For I like to think it's. I like to think they're sequential. 
So if this is like number 27, then it's likely you know, just the 27th reactor. You don't, uh, besides this one and the one in Nibelheim, are there any? And Fort Condor, that's a reactor too. Gongaga. Junin. Uh, g g yeah, g it, d despite its state, it is technically a reactor still, yes. Junin. Uh, Junin is a, is Junin a reactor? J Junin. Underwater reactor. Uh, oh, the, yeah, that's an underwater one, yeah. You know. Yeah, so you can climb up here and, and hang on this area. And I have no idea why you can. There's nothing here. Some fan hacks like to put a boss monster on this thing. Maybe. There is that new threat mod that I've been meaning to try out. It's alright. Have you? Oh, so you looked it up yourself too? Yeah, I watched the last play of it. Yeah, yeah. It it's but it's close to making that same mistake every ROM hack maker makes. What's that? You play it and then you send it to your testers and then the testers demand more challenge and then eventually at some point, rather than making a mod for everybody, you're making a mod that pleases the testers. Yeah. Or at uh, the very least, what they consider to be like hardcore players. Yeah, that yeah. Basically, they run their challenge mod up the ass, and real, then they realize it's almost unplayable. Real gamer moves. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> real gamer moves. Uh, I anyway, I think it's just a wind attack. It's just a wind attack. They're, no, their they're needle attack does like 200 damage. They really hate red 13 for some reason because that's all they fucking use it on. They're speciesists. I uh, maybe. Yeah. Hey, or good, or the good, lion tastes better. It's good limit builder though. It's like it's like hit the human. Fine. Fuck. I, don't, I, don't, I, I guess so. I don't, Faces. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Fascist. You can just climb up here and explode this area if you want to. I don't know if there's maybe a hidden item that I'm not aware of, or if there's no, you just something. Just nice around. Way to go. Yeah. It's just a just another reason to be, you know. Just might walk be good around. for might be good for grinding. No. Well, it's no, not. because you can encounter anything anywhere in that area. You don't necessarily have to be on top of that area. Yeah. You know. So. Don't go into third track. Also, this is a small ass train. Don't go into <laughs> don't go into third track. <laughs> no, you're just a big man. Yeah, yeah. I guess like uh, I do eat my Wheaties. <laughs> Again, what uh, have you? Also, what are these tracks? This is the it's a roller coaster. It's a, it's a, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a roller coaster. I don't think minecart. Oh, I no. think I think it's supposed to represent like the minecarts. So if you don't press the X button on time, you fall through the tracks. But it's not all doom and gloom. If you mash the X button while holding left or right, you can grab these items here. One of them is a star pendant for poison protection. Which I already have at this point. But the other is the wizard staff for airs. Mm -hmm. I believe there's also double growth. It's her yes, double it growth is. item. Wizard staff. Wizard. A regular old Gandalf. Wizard. Wizard. Which, that, is, which is why I like to have airs for this bit, admittedly, because the magic helps in considering she's practically your mage. Well, I have Yuffie for that, too. Yeah. Cockatoals. It's a bird. Remember the sauce you were told to buy back? Bro, that's that an ostrich. That's an ostrich mixed with a peacock. That's a cockatrice, Ollie. Cockatrice, yeah. In mystical lore. Oh, uh, yeah, it was Matt was getting at earlier. The reason why they told you to invest in the sauce is because of this dude. Yeah, and that's it. But even, <laughs> if, but even, <laughs> even if you do, though, it's like he, he doesn't really inflict direct petrification rather than a slow petrify. Yeah. And he drops sauce anyway, so. Yeah. Fuck and they don't have much HP. Again, because I haven't grinded at all. But it's, but it's like, you got proper equipment, enemy skills. They're, 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 they're really easy to take care of. If you have enemy skulls, period, everything's really easy to take care of. Yeah, for fucking Matro Magic alone carries you for a while. I want to say up until about just after Ganga goes when they start when it starts petering out. Well, because the HP thresholds get a little high. Right. And but at the same, at the same time, though, as you level up, so does your magic stat. And that, right. That, may just, that makes magic, Matro Magic stronger. Not quite as powerful as you want it to be, though. No, no. At that point, you're better off just using Tier 2 Magic with all Materia. Or a stronger enemy skill. <laughs> the transform materia that transform that bestows mini and toad. It also cures mini and toad. And uh, if you do not need to level it up to get the toad effect for elemental materia pairing on a weapon, uh, that it, that inherently comes with it. Well, what's up? You're, they're right there, and then oh wait, hold on, we gotta fight. <laughs> no, you're fighting them because you scared them. <laughs> it's like what was that? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Cloud's poisoned. Poisoned, yeah. Poisoned you know, what's really, you know it, it, it was, it's kind of an odd detail that I didn't immediately notice like on my first playthrough, but status effects don't carry over after battles. Nope. Poison, darkness, sleep, all that, they're gone as soon as the battles ended. I, mean, I think this was like the first Final Fantasy to do that. I'm try I'm struggling to remember right now at the moment whether, whether or not there were some stat aside from Fury and um 
sadness that they translate that they linger after violent of my, mo- my knowledge no, not slanting except for KO. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for obvious reasons. But no, I yeah, I believe only fury and sadness are the only things that carry over in battles. Everything else is cured by the end of the battle. Even poison. Like you huh. just vomit it out or shit it out. Or sweat it off. The shack is here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shack. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm tight. <laughs> 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 I like use, the option for VHS. Use the cell phone. We're right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Barrett's thoughts on this. That's pretty water. Yeah. <laughs> Barrett, what do you think? I'm depressed. Oh. Why are you depressed? Yeah. Sucks to be here yeah, for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, well, hopefully we'll get a little more info on that later. <laughs> what, a cheer, what a cheerleading squad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wonderful the image to have Barrett in a fucking dress. Yeah, instead of the gun in front of him, he has a pom-pom. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he shoots pom poms at you. Oh God! <laughs> it's like, you know, you know, it's funny because you know, uh, Barrett's joke weapon in this game, I think, was it's the rocket punch. The rocket punch. It should have been a t-shirt launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Extra damage to female t-shirt, fighters. T-shirt, t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I had to fit in a Google Earth reference somewhere. You hear birds chirping? Whoa! Yow! Yow look at that! Food. Red 13's dialogue here kind of confuses me, though. He's breathing heavily here. Well, he's not really lying. He... So you're taking the... Um... Yeah, I'm taking the chocobo. What are realistic docs? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, maybe the baby chocobo? Plug. Uh, yeah, it... what, was was he there? eating? Is he eating? Or is he thinking of eating it? I'm not sure. Possibly. If you decide to take the treasure, though, you got to fight the, the mama. So, of course. Uh, it's just another cockatrice, though. You want my kids? No, yeah. actually, no, I don't want your kids. I want the treasure next to your kids. But now I'm going to have to kill you and your babies are going to yeah, starve. Yeah, because you attacked me first. You came at me with a knife. And if not, then I'll just sprinkle some cocaine on your body. Claw draws one of his spare swords <laughs> next to it. <laughs> Make it look like a goddamn accident. Ten Phoenix Downs. Now, if you have Aerith and you, uh, not you, uh, Tifa with you, I think you can lose relationship values if yeah. you decide to take the treasure. Oh, wow. Uh, because, well, because you're taking treasure from the uh, yeah, but at least babies. But at least you're not taking the babies. No, no, but, you know, still. Yeah, but now you're leaving them to die because they got no mother. Exactly. And uh, the, ten, the Ten Phoenix Downs is the only means of reviving her. Well, Lady you don't really. Cloud. You don't actually revive with the Phoenix Downs. You just save from knockout. No, 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 they're smelling salts. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Out there, smelling salts? I thought they were just feathers. You rub them over your nose and go. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's like when there's somebody's so asleep, you do it a fo- you dangle a feather over their nose and then they start waking up this just is like bullshit. that. Bullshit! I thought it was magic. Magic? What the fuck? In this game, get the fuck out of here, man! There's no such thing as magic. Didn't you listen to Hojo? It's like being sold snake oil. I got bamboozled. <laughs> yeah, if you if you went into that if you went into that and believed it was some sort of holistic medicine, you deserve the fucking fate upon you. <laughs> Piss mis- mixed with ink. Piss, Piss ink? ink. <laughs> well, what a bunch of dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is where Matrimatrix is great on, and this is, again, something the other two could be using to get their limits up. But Cloud's like, you know, fuck you. I Cloud's main character. Fuck you, I can <laughs> shit missiles. I shit missiles. Cloud has main character syndrome. Yeah, pretty much. That and his limits take the longest anyway. Or he's just greedy. I'm actually going to wait until later down the road, probably near the end of disc one, beginning of disc two, to limit grime because I, d- I didn't want to over level so early on. That's fair. Who's that? I some don't know, but I'm taking a shit. Some, d- <laughs> some dude who's down on his luck. He's, he's, he, he, made, he converted his bulldozer into a bed. Why don't you wind up here? I, I, I sleep in a bulldozer. That's actually really cool. I used to have a race car bed growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's out of work, so he's got nothing to do but kill birds. <laughs> no, that's my job. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, enjoy your hole. How'd you get the bulldozer here? <laughs> yes. You drove, tra- drove it down the tracks, right up over that, through it all. It's like a one-way trip. Just the curvature of the track kind of confuses me. I, know, I think he got it over the rocks. I mean, he could use the bulldozer to get the rocks out. This is another rare place for the rare battle scene. Yeah, also, I keep, also, I keep seeing holes there. Yeah, there's a, there looks to be a big gaping hole in the middle of that bridge. And I was like, you're not walking over this shit. 
Only place in the game where you can fight these things. Yeah. Bombs. Steal right arms from them if you can. Yeah, they can. They're they're kind of a rare steal, but uh, it's it's a it's really a real it's a really bomb. powerful item to have this time in the game. It does like twelve the, twelve hundred to fifteen hundred damage. This is also where a lot of players who do no material runs end up spending a third of their game. <laughs> what? Because of getting all the right arms? Yes. Oh wow, that sounds really tedious. This is fun as finding dark aeons. Can you only get right arms from these dudes? You also can. You also can win them in the battle square. Ah, uh, that would explain it. <laughs> which is which is funny because you're using you're probably using right arms to win battle square as early as possible. You know, if you decide to do it like as early as it's available. Yeah, you want Omni slash disc one? There you go. Uh, that or uh, you can get champion belts too. Those are a great accessory. Really good accessory. Everyone's on Red 13's ass. Like, damn. I Although I really <laughs> wish the name was better. Right what, arm. Right arm, yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's just anyway it's the right arm of the bomb. But, you know, I, I would have liked if the model reflected that. Because <laughs> the arm is not there anymore. What if you did that and the bomb blew up? Uh, Got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you, you notice, though, uh, the grenade enemy is obviously is a, is a, is a standard Final Fantasy enemy. It's a, it's a traditional Final Fantasy enemy. And uh, I believe every time you hit it with a magic attack or a physical attack, it will slowly it loses, increase It has to lose size. HP. Yeah, it will, sl it will slowly increase in size. And basically, if you take too long afterwards, it will uh, end the fight prematurely with self-destruct, which will do more damage based on how uh, large the bomb managed to get. Until then, it just Ooh. uses Fireball, and Fireball still kind of hurts. I was just going to say, it's like you take the right arm, and he's like, wrong wire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barrett's got some history in this place. Uh oh. And it's all his fault, North Corral turned into a garbage heap. Did you figure what you've done here already? Oh. Uh, what what did he do? It's complicated. Like, in a way. It's not... <sighs> he's not it, completely not... They make it not, not complicated. It's not completely his fault. It's not completely as well. No, no. The keyword being completely. Yeah. It's a it's a combination of then Barrett's naivete and just sh uh, you know Shinra being complete shitheads, but we know what else is new. Yeah, you know Shinra's a shithead. Shinra, Shinra run by shitheads. Water's wet. Hey, bear. And Mike Pence fucked a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I was told from my producers I wasn't supposed to say that last part. Hey, bear. Mm -hmm. There's like Town literally nothing run down. fucking here. How is that refrigerator going to work with no electricity? Uh, maybe it's battery operated. Battery operated, okay. Hey, I mean, you give me an answer. <laughs> Jump start. There's really nothing here to buy aside from potions, Phoenix Downs, and Tents, so again, no, nothing. The most basic bitch of items, which is, you know, kind of goes on time, it goes along with the, the, the state of the town. The weird thing is, though, is that they get this nowhere town has the, is the passing port between you and a lifetime of fun at the Gold Saucer. Yeah. You go by Maiden's Kisses, the cornucopia is here if you don't want to lug around a transform materia. So I naturally do that because I don't bother with transform materia. Plus, your next member comes with a. Also, we just got a transform materia. Thing is, you, your next member that comes up does have a transform materia as well, and it's about 1,000 away from becoming the next level. Wait, uh, you talking about Ketchy? Yeah. I thought Ketchy just came with Manipulate. He comes with Manipulate and Transform, okay. and the transform materia has about 1,000 left to go before it comes Toad. A big one. Mm -hmm. oh, that, you were looking at his dick. So that you're talking about, you saw a guy in a black cape with the, the number one on his arm. I'm assuming he's talking about just like the generic black capes. Yeah. Uh, or maybe Sephiroth is number one. I mean, maybe 23 is number no, one. No, I got it. Sephiroth with a big giant number one foam finger <laughs> as he's walking down the road. He's a big fan of the fights. Yeah. He's walking out. He's walking through the fire with that foam finger. Yeah. Exactly. I'm number one. Yeah, so far, <laughs> we know. You say it every fucking time you're here. My sword also looks like a really big number one. <laughs> so now we're going to learn why Barrett exactly hates Tishinra, and it's a hell of a town. Hometown used to be around here. Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, it's gone. And this is not even the original spot for it. It's not. It's a little further south. Yeah. Or well, I mean, way to south. <laughs> This looks like a straight up regular, you know, JRPG town, really. It's just a regular this is village. pretty much what the Junin village would look like if the reactor wasn't above it. Right. Like it's just a regular village. Yeah, basically. Like yeah, a very, like, very uh, traditional Final Fantasy village. Yeah. Right. You know, it's very brown, though. Very, very brown. Yeah. Well, it is a western town. So now here's the gist of it. 
Scarlet right down there. By the way, I found a Crisis Core reference later on. Red, um, red bitch. I mean, online. Yeah, the red bitch. <laughs> that was the bitch in the red dress. So here's the wacky shit, though. Dine's going to fight for hev- High in Hell Heaven for Cole. Yeah. And now everything is Mako. So the weird thing is, is like it turns Baron and them into like snake oil salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is actually kind of a parallel, though, in like in in, in real life uh, politics and all sort of thing, because you know one of the uh, growing concerns from like the old fashioned way is like the decrease in coal and how that kind of reduces the old mining jobs. Yeah, because we we're we're veering away from coal fueled energy and all sort of thing. And it's like, trying to anyone. It's kind of like. Uh, with the kind of the, the kind of a uh, sort of a crisis you feel when you realize that your livelihood is at risk because people move on from that thing that you're hired to mine, and it's kind of what Dinah's going through right now. Mako energy is the future, and it's replacing coal. So and instead of having a warm fire to warm you up, you can have your dead grandpa light your light bulbs. Absolutely, and look, Mako, it look uh, heating efficiency went up by six thousand percent. Six an attention to detail we weren't we weren't bringing up in the uh, Corral Town was that Barrett actually had both hands. Yeah, it was a, it was a flashback. He actually had two hands, and he also had a white undershirt. You think he came out of the womb with a gun on his arm? Yes, that's badass. That's metal. Yeah, like <laughs> your kid's gonna do some wild and crazy shit. <laughs> oh man, I remember watching that cartoon show since I was a Beretta. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my name, Mama. <laughs> You're gonna do like five years in timeout. Your flashback depresses me. I'm gonna cut off the gold saucer now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a wild uh, mood swing. It's here. a wild shit. Yeah. Your your backstory depressed me. Oh, like yours didn't depress me, Cloud. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I never told you my backstory. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you never should have trusted Shinra. And Yuffie's right. Like Yuffie has her own grudge against yeah. it, like a legitimate one. We're not. I actually that like that line because it, it makes sense for her to say that. Right. It's it's in character. Yeah, but well, it also it's pays also respect, in war- pays it's respect also- to the, yeah, it's paid respect to the lore. Sorry, Red, no lions. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to tape himself to the top. Actually, the uh, guy at the front desk tried to make sure he didn't go, and then Red Thirteen just starting to bite his balls off. Yeah. So- Sorry, only people under only people under thirteen go in. You're <laughs> over thirteen, Red Thirteen. I am older than you. <laughs> I'm your grandpa. See you guys next time. Yeah, have a good night, everybody.